Hey everyone, Linda Israel here. Can you hear me? <laughs> I hope y'all are having a fabulous Thursday and you're ready to chat and hang out with me, win some prizes, and watch as I make a Royal Peacock journal using the printed Royal Peacock kits. And remember when I show the Royal Peacock kits, you can also get those as a digital download. I have a few left of the subscription boxes in in my shop. The link is in the description box down below, so check that out. So if this is your first time here and you're watching the replay, remember that you can go down and hit that little gear and speed it up to two times the speed so you can get through this really fast. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, those that are here chatting. You can use the super chat feature if you so choose and donate and be in the chance to win the journal that I'm making here today and I'm going to start a raffle here in just a moment and anybody can enter that raffle and win a prize so hey 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 so glad to see you here I see that there's a few people that are already here it looks like we've got uh, Robin, Stapp, Robin Finnessy, Mary, Mariana and Sherry and Karen and I think there was a couple other that I'm missing because my chat didn't refresh. Let's see here. Sherry is here and Sandra L. Regina. So glad to see you all in the chat today. Hey Debbie, so good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so let's go. Let's go here and let's reset that. And I'm going to look here. What do we got? Oh, I've got a couple of tags. So let me grab a couple of tags here. And we'll put it on the Zoom for a moment. So I have a couple of little tags here that we're going to give away. So I'm going to get that started. And these are pink tags. And we're going to open the giveaway. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is hit exclamation point raffle. And you can enter into the... Uh, raffle oh thank you so much debbie for your donation thank you thank you thank you and i really appreciate that donation i think i changed the screen as the sheep was dancing but thank you so very much all right so we're gonna have those in the raffle at first we'll set those over here um well, let's keep the chat up deep beat and friendly and you know let's encourage each other so if you have a woe is me story and that's I don't mean that in a negative way let's take that over to the friendly junk journal people Facebook group where we have a listing called we care and the idea is that if you have something going on in your life that you just want some well wishes prayers uplifting whatever it may be you can share it there you know if something's going on in your life that you just want to share with us do it over there let's try to keep the chat upbeat and positive um if you tend to go negative you'll be removed uh, i'm just i don't put up with drama <laughs> Sorry, let's keep this chat on point of crafts and having a good time, okay? So, <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Mariana. You're so sweet. <laughs> Giveaway starting. Pink Robin, get in the raffle, Robin. Hey, Pink Robin. The lamb is fixed. I don't know if it's fixed on every screen, but he is fixed on one screen. So. <laughs> oh, yay, it's working. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Robin Stapp for your donation. Robin Finnessy for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Barbara Oliver. Hey, hey, Debra, Debbie. <laughs> All right. So, hey, hey, Janice. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so, for being here. Okay, so... I've got here in front of me, if y'all didn't see my, um, and the focusing is not supposed to be happening. Jason's going to have to connect to my computer again because for some reason there's little gremlins acting up in it. This is some fabric that I got from Saf, and I don't know if I say her name right and I hope she forgives me. I think it's Safia and she is from India and her Dust Fairies is her fairy Facebook group and I got a whole bunch of wonderful pieces of fabric and sari silk and embellished things and so I thought I would use a piece so here's what I've done prior to getting on here because I didn't think you had to see me watch and do the whole thing I took a scrap of that 
paper and fabric and sewed them together just so that it had a little more body than just the fabric because it's kind of um, uh, flimsy by itself. And I thought what we could do is we would attach that to this page to make that a pocket that we could use right there. But before I do that, I want to alter this piece of paper. So I'm going to grab my spray box. And it's just a box to keep from spraying all over my desk so it's easy to clean up. And I've got, looks like I've got one of the April Stencil Club stencils that I'm going to put in here. Now, remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If I don't see it right away, put it in all caps, and possibly one of the admins will repeat it as well. So I can't always see the chat super fast because I'm looking at <laughs> what I'm making at the moment. <clears throat> Agreed, Mariana. <laughs> you saw the sheep. Yay! <laughs> Wasn't it pretty? I love the Indian fabric myself, too. Yeah, India. Yeah, that's right, Janice. <laughs> she does. She has beautiful sari silk and sari pieces. So I've got... Oh, that's not the color I want to use. I want to use the purple, I think. I want to do a purple on purple. So thank you so much, Karen, for your donation. And remember, any dollar amount, it doesn't matter if it's a dollar or five dollars or twenty dollars, that gets you entered into the drawing. And I will say at the end, it's time to enter, and these are the people that have donated. All right, so I'm just shaking up the purple peacock. This is part of the Royal Peacock paint set that's tattered angels there's six colors and this is one of the beautiful colors it has a beautiful shimmer in it and i'm going to spray this onto the page and i'm so glad that all of you are here today it was good to see several people on saturday that came to my workshop and if you're in the oklahoma area oklahoma city yukon area feel free to hit me up and come by and see me sometime at the shop all right so i just sprayed that and then i am mopping up what's on top of the stencil so i like doing this because it kind of gives me two for one out of one spraying i sprayed a little bit of tattered angels on this side of the page just to give it some shimmer on this side and then we'll lift this up so now we have this page that we can use, we can make a page out of it, we can make a pocket, some kind of element. Let's set that aside for a moment. Hey Angelica, so glad to have you here. Thank you Pink Robin for your donation. And then there is the page that I sprayed. Oh, I forgot I was going to spray the other side because we are going to use this as a two-sided piece. So I'm just going to go in here and add a little bit more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your donation. Oh, you're shipping a journal to Japan? That's awesome, Angelica. Doesn't that feel awesome when you can do something like that? Woohoo! You can bring us lunch. That would be awesome, Mariana. <laughs> Maybe I would eat lunch then. Oh, you got a, a napkin with a peacock on it from an Etsy store. Oh, beautiful, Janice. I've been meaning to... Um, uh, put a few napkins in my shop that have peacocks on it, but I've been a little busy, <laughs> so I haven't gotten around to taking photographs and getting that up there. Yeah, enter the raffle if you haven't already. Go ahead and enter the raffle. All right, so I'm just drying this with my heat tool just a little bit so that the page isn't so wet from the Tattered Angels. Let me move this so I don't turn off my stuff. And I think what I want to do, that's awesome. I'm, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Since I've sewed these two together, I think all I'm going to do is just glue this down. I understand, Mariana. I know you have, this is your running day. <laughs> so thank you for being here for the little time that you can. I will be doing this live again on next Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I'll be live again next Thursday at 12 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I hope y'all will come back. Oh, six panels. Oh, I bet it was beautiful. 
I have an idea about how you can tell a question. Put question, then ask the that way it will show. Yeah. So the raffle this time is for a couple of pink tags that I made. So these are a couple of digital downloads from Calco Collage. And then I added some of the black on black, white words on black that I have in my shop. And these are sewed together and some scraps of fabric. Okay. Hey, Mia, so glad to see you here. Oh, yeah, Chinese food would be awesome, Mariana. I like Chinese food. All right, so I glued this side. So now I'm just going to flip this over, and I'm going to glue this side down. Thank you, Robin, for sharing the Royal Peacock link. I appreciate that. Also, for those of you that have lots of junk bucks, you can check your buck as exclamation point bucks and that'll tell you how many you have and when you have 2,000 junk bucks you can type award to trade junk bucks for a $10 off coupon and on Monday I had quite a few people who went ahead and did that and I know several of them have already redeemed their coupon the coupon is good for 30 days so you can use it right away or wait a few days Oh dear. Oh, thank you so much, Sandra, for saying that. <laughs> hey, Regina, you're really close to 2,000 bucks. You'll be, be able to get a uh, coupon soon. All right, so there is one page that I made. Um, I also, because if you saw my uh, happy mail from India and Australia, I was reminded about decorating a envelope to put into my journal. So this is an envelope that, now what did I do with them? <laughs> I had a pile of stuff here. Oh, here we go. So it was an envelope that looked like this. It was an envelope that one of my family owned a business. Come on, don't flash out on me. I guess we're going to have to change some settings. And so this envelope, I decided to make into a pocket page, if you will, by folding it in half. So I knew where the center was. And then I took this part while it was folded in half, because this was a new envelope. And I needed to trim it so that it kind of matched and it went down to... A point on this side so I just kind of trimmed it a little bit with some scissors and then now this will flip down and when you put it in your journal page you'll be able to use the pocket if you didn't sew it down like I did and you can use this I went ahead and sewed it to another piece of paper just so it would be attached because if you don't put it where the binding catches it it will come loose and could actually come out of your journal so I wanted to make sure it wouldn't do that oh there you go Robin good idea you like my nails I got my nails done got away from the orange we got the peacock colors going on here uh, hey Christy so glad to see you here you haven't redeemed yours yet Mariana well you should do that all right so that's what I did was I sprayed it then with the tattered angels glimmer mist through the peacock stencil and then I took a gel print and put it on this side here and I don't know if my tags will fit oh they will and I made some little tags that I thought could go hopefully they'll fit on this side too might be tight come on go in there Sometimes you have to work it a little bit. So that'll be there. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to put inside here. So let's make some journal cards really fast to put inside there. So I got a couple of rubber stamps out. Let's see what I've got here. I've got a pile, I got a big old mess of stuff here. <laughs> so glad you're here, though. I understand that if you have other things going on that. Sometimes you can't be here right on time. That is okay. 
And I think what I'm going to do, let's see what happens. If I take this piece of paper, I sent it, Christy, through um, Facebook, but I can message it again. All right, that'll fit there, so let's do another one. And we're going to put that one on this side. I think that'll work. So let's, um, let's use some stencils on that. So I've got my spray box out here, so I'm just going to lay the pieces of paper in here. And actually, I'm going to change this piece of paper because, there we go. So I'm basically kind of putting them on the sides of this piece of paper on purpose because I want to be able to use that later on as a Moppet page that can be in the journal. And I think, let's see, what color do we want to do? Let's do a little bit of the pink. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> stay awake, Mia, stay awake. Thanks for joining us, Nancy. So glad to have you here. Hello. Thank you so much. <laughs> you were just spacing off. <laughs> this stencil on the envelope comes in the Royal Peacock subscription box. That's the only way you can get it right now. Now, later on, six months to a year from now, I may release this as a regular stencil. But right now, the only way you can get that is through the subscription box. <laughs> No, your junk box never expires. They just keep going. And remember that you have different junk box depending on which device you sign in on. So if you use multiple devices, then you can get a coupon. So, yeah, if you get a 200 coupons, you need to redeem it or it expires in 30 days. You got it. So this stencil here is from my April Stencil Club. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of pink on there. And I think I'm going to go with a little bit of the blue as well. Is that okay? Is that clear, Regina? <laughs> All right. Are you ready to rumble, Mariana says. So I'm just adding a little bit of color. I'm going to grab another sheet of paper. I have just a ream of standard copy paper. I bought a whole case of it because it was on sale at Staples a while back. That if you bought the case, then they gave you a redemption coupon that you could mail in and get the whole case for $9.99. So I do that every once in a while when I see one of those specials. It's a really cheap way to get it. Gotcha. Hey, Julie. So glad to see you here for just a moment. I know you got to go. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. All right. All right. So there is what that looks like. And then it has a void now. So we can use that as a journal page. But here is my little journal cards that I just made really fast. So it's a great way just to take blank paper and do something. Whole case of paper, Mariana. A whole case of paper, of copy paper. Have a fabulous day. Now, join the raffle if you're going to be here for a few more minutes, Julie, because I think I have your address so I can send you the gift. So go ahead and join in on that. Oh, that's the wrong. I was, I was wondering why it was so dark. It was my black blending tool that I was using on my card here. Oh, perfect, Christy. Thank you. I understand that happens. <laughs> Get distracted by something else. Ooh, shiny object. <laughs> I went to make sure I had all my stuff ready, and I made some tea, some hot tea, and I was looking for Hercules. I didn't know where he was, and I look outside, and he's standing there. The wind's blowing, and he's standing, and the wind just blowing on his face. <laughs> it's like funny little dog. All right, so we got that. So let's do this. I think I want to make a little butterfly to put on top of that. So I'm going to grab some paper here. So I'm just grabbing some white cardstock. And I got my archival ink. 
actually I'm going to change my mind. I think I'm going to use some blue ink. Let's see what it looks like. See if I like it and we'll do it on the blue. All right. So let's put that right here. I'm going to clean my stamp really fast because when you're using the distress oxides, I don't want anything to um, transfer. Hercules is Hercules is outside. He was in here with me. He's probably outside. I left the door open so he could go in and out. That makes him happy. Okay, so I've got some Distress Oxide here. Move this stamp out of the way. And I've got the Medium Butterfly from my shop. And I'm just going to go in here. Let's see how this looks if I stamp it. Oh, that looks really pretty. Isn't that bright and blue? Now, wouldn't that look good on there? So let's do another one. Yes, we can still get the printed mini. I may not have it listed in the shop, but if you'll send me a message to remind me on Facebook or my website, I'll get it added. I have some still in stock, and I can get more printed. All right, so now I'm going to heat set this really fast because I don't want my fingers smearing it. Oh, he won't run away. We've got the fenced-in yard, so uh, he do, he loves to go sit out in the sun for a little while. And then he'll come in to check on me. Oh, cool. Thank you, Mary, uh, Mia. I'll check it out. I've been busy, so I, I thought I saw you send a message, but I haven't had time to reply, trying to get ready for the live stream and... I had appointments yesterday and had a conference call with Norella yesterday talking about the next kit that we're going to be doing. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, he's pretty smart. He likes to go sit out there and he'll watch the critters, the birds and whatnot and keeps the squirrels away. <laughs> And then when he gets tired of being outside, he'll come in. I got a little doggy door, but I keep the, we have the, an interior door that I have to prop open so that the wind doesn't close it. He was outside and couldn't get the doggy door to work earlier, so I had to go fix it for him. <laughs> He's a funny little dog. So what's everybody been working on? What kind of things have you been making? I know several people that have picked up the Bella Rose kit. I've been seeing a few uh, journals made with that. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I know that some people have been working on that. I've seen a couple people that worked on the Outrageous Orange. And I still have Outrageous Orange. I also still have a few of the Radiant Red uh, Rainbow kits in my shop. I also have the... Flittering Gems Hummingbird Printed Journal Kit. So those of you that don't do digital downloads, which you can get from Calico, but if you don't do digital and you would like a physically printed kit, I have those in my shop. <laughs> Did I miss something? No. Oh. Regina, you won! <laughs> Alright, has everybody entered? Thank you, Mia. You're very welcome. You've started another journal using materials I have at home. Oh, awesome! So what materials are you using, Regina? I'd love to know. I know, I love my dogs. <laughs> So you get stuck when adding images. What what happens when you get stuck, Christy? You're working on a tag now? Well, awesome. Raffle. Get in the raffle if you haven't already. All right. And then I will um, draw here in just a moment. I'm going to finish cutting this out. Hey, Pam. So glad to have you here. Enter the raffle. While she's entering the raffle, anybody else enter the raffle? I'm going to put some Distress Ink on this little butterfly. And then I will draw the raffle. Hey, Mary. So glad to have you here. Welcome. So good to see you in the chat, Lynn. I know you stay busy. Uh. 
anything tags and pages so is it because you can't make a decision or you feel like it doesn't go together or you're missing something tell me a little bit more Oh, you're making some storage boxes for your die cut and punched scraps. So you go through your scraps and punch them and, and then you want a little box to sort them. That's cool. Yay! You ordered your first kit, Mary. Awesome. Yay! All right. I'm going to do the raffle now. Is everybody in? Janice is in. Danielle's in. Pink Robin got in. Raffle. All right. Thank you so much for saying so, Robin. I try to make them fun and a lot of goodies in them. All right. I, you haven't even seen the pink one right now. Henry's embroidering stuff to make a living so my wife can art all day. <laughs> Missing something doesn't look right. You know what? Here's what I suggest is take a picture of it and post it in the Facebook group, in the Friendly Junk Journal Facebook group, and say, what do I need? What do you suggest? You know, and even say, I have this and I have that. And you could take a picture of all of it. You know, it's like, all right, I'm thinking about doing this, but what else does it need? And people can let you know. Oh, Henry is so funny. Oh, cool. So, uh, Regina says she's using just scrapbook paper, regular print paper, and she made different sprays using egg dye tablets this time, and I like them better than my old ones. I'm going to try tags as well. That's cool. Making embellishments for our cowgirl album. Awesome. You're still unpacking, Robin? Oh, an Easter Bunny journal. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Pam, so much for your donation. Uh, all right, Marianne, I'm going to do it now. All right, giveaway. Oh, let me get my notepad. What did I do with it? There it is. And I need a pen so I can write it down or I'll forget. All right, so this is March. Nope, this pen needs, that needs a new life because it didn't want to work. Here we go. March 28th. Winners. All right, so I've got my winners. All right, let's pick a winner. Robin Fantasy, you won! Congratulations! Yay, Robin, you won! Guess what? I have two more tags, so we'll do this again. So I'm going to open... <laughs> Robin. No, you won, Robin! <laughs> You won, Robin. You got pink tags, and you love pink. All right, so I'm going to allow entries again, again, for the pink tags. I got another set. So Robin's going to get the first set, and then the next person's going to get the second set. Okay? So enter the raffle. And I didn't clear it out. So if you missed, if you already entered, you don't have to. If you want to, just to make sure, please do so. All right, I'm going to clean my stamp. All right, let me go back over here. Congratulations, Robin. All right, Robin, I'll do that. <laughs> Congrats, Robin. All right, so here we've got the first part of this. That's kind of plain. I think it needs a little something else. So let me go over here. I've got some gel prints. Let's see. Oh, that one's kind of interesting. Maybe we'll do a little strip or a block right behind there. Okay, so I'm going to trim off the white areas of this piece of paper. So this is just a gel print that I made. You're very welcome, Robin. <laughs> I'm glad you won. I know you like pink, so that's perfect for you. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm trying to go pretty quick today so we can have some fun. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've got this little piece of paper here, so I'm going to make a mat. So probably just a little bit bigger. Okay, 
I'll save that and then I'm going to rotate this around and probably right about there so we'll line it up line it up and if I got lucky I can get two out of one piece see you later Mariana have a good one hey slogan 413 what do you think now then that look better on there it gives that bright color so let's add some distress ink around here have a wonderful day Mariana thanks for stopping in okay put some distress ink on there I think this one where'd my other butterfly go this one might be a little bit bigger but that's okay that's okay yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put distress ink on this one I don't think it cut straight <laughs> you're going to Wendy's I do have some gel print tutorials and I am planning on doing some more um, after the after next week next Thursday a week from let's see two weeks from today I plan to do a gel print session live all right so I added some distress ink so let's adhere this together what do you think this a little bright colors Sandra's got some junk bucks. She's got enough to get a $10 off coupon. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. And I like the white with the blue behind there, don't y'all? I think it looks really pretty. Looks good. Thanks, Regina. Thank you so much, Lorraine. That's so sweet of you. I try to make the uh, the recorded ones to the point, and then I try to make the live ones fun. <laughs> you like it, Mary? Thank you. All right, let's do. Now I'm just going to go in here in this little envelope. Okay, and we need something on the outside here. So I think I've got another little thing that I want to put down. You're saving up your bucks for now. <laughs> yeah, join in the raffle. If you just joined, type in exclamation point raffle. And I'm giving away some tags. The next raffle, I'll give away some more junk bucks. I know y'all like those. So you can buy things from my shop using your junk bucks. When you get to 2,000 junk bucks then you can get a $10 off coupon. That's what I was saying earlier. And you earn your junk bucks just by being here, by chatting, by doing some of the games that are in the uh, chat. And you can also do it by making donations. You get junk bucks. All right, so that's there. So that flaps there. And I've got this here. Let's see what else I've got here. I made some die cuts earlier, but now I can't find them. Ah, here they are. I thought that might look kind of pretty as some bright. And then I saw, what if we do something like that? Isn't that kind of pretty on there? You like that? First time on. Well, welcome, Nancy. So glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Good. That's okay, Nancy. You can listen. So what do you put with the gel plate if it's new and the paint separates when you put it down? So what kind of paint are you using? And is it old or is it new paint? And you may need to shake it really well. Um, I don't use oil paint. I use acrylics on my gel pipe. So I'll use simple, uh, craft acrylic paint. 
or I'll even use the artist grade heavy body I guess is what they call a uh, craft paint or artist paint on my gel plate you haven't <laughs> you haven't harassed Jason enough to graduate to toddler <laughs> <laughs> and it could be if you're putting on layers too thick as Robin said I'll be doing like I said I'll be doing uh, tutorials in about two weeks so I'm going to glue this down I'm going to put it kind of in the center I got out my die cutting machine and decided to do some die cuts what do you think I love the, the glitter behind there I'm going to put glue just on the bottom in case we want to put something in that as a tuck spot. Whoever gets this journal, you may want to add something there. <sighs> New paint. and you have, What kind of paint, though, Barbara? Tell me what kind of paint. So, And could you send me a photograph? Of what it looks like when you do it next time because it could be the paint it shouldn't do that unless it's just a different kind of paint and that's why it's doing it all right so I'm gonna put that right here All right, so we kind of got this page started in some decorating. I think what I want to do is I want to stamp on here. So I'm going to move the page that I sewed on out of the way. And I've got the feather from uh, Feathered Friends that's in my shop. I think I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to use the blue Distress Oxide. And that look kind of cute. We'll do it on this side too. Yeah, so look, you're in this game, his game of stealing bucks. <laughs> oh wow, those are huge. Eleven of uh, twelve by seventeen by twelve is pretty big pages. Pretty big pages. That's a huge size. Acrylic paint. Okay. It could be just the kind of paint that it is. I think what I want to do. Yeah. I think the butterfly needs to be stamped on this side. All right. So everybody entered in the raffle. Put that there. Put that there. All right, so we've got a page done there. I think what I want to do is I put some stencils away the other day, and now I'm wanting them back again, and I can't remember where I put them. Have you ever done that? Oh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Have you ever put stencils away and then you didn't know where they were? <laughs> that keeps happening to me for some reason. I think I found the right. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Dang it. I may have to go grab one out of my inventory in the other room. Because I wanted to grab my journal line stencil. Who's used the journal line stencil that I've created? Oh, I put the envelope on the paper by sewing it with my sewing machine. I just sewed right down the center. And then that way it's attached. So when I go to put my journal together, it won't move on me. So that's why I put it there. Okay. And I may want to take those out when I go to bind it, but I wanted to see how they fit. So we'll put those in later. Okay. All right. So I didn't see it there. It's not there. 
It's not up there. I'm going to check another spot. That's what happens when you clean up. You clean up too well, you can't find things. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get the journal line stencil. I'll, I'll use the Be Right Back screen. You like that page? Thank you. You need to add a stencil, just send me a message. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, you ready for some new music? <laughs> You like that? That way you know where it's there. It won't move. And when you go to bind your journal, it just all comes together. I, that's why I did it. All right. So we're going to create a page or two to put in the journal. And then we'll be able to start putting it together. So I'm looking at... Oh, let's do this one. I haven't done this one in a while. So I've got the... April Stencil Club. This is the butterfly. I don't know. Maybe I think it's called a butterfly dreams. And I've been using a lot of the pink and the blue. So let's do let's do the purple. Dancing along. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. And if I don't reply to your message, I'm sorry. It, it, it went too fast and I missed it. So please don't forget that. I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to ignore you. I cut out my tags. Um, it depends on what I'm doing. I think I want some blue. That'll be pretty. Pretty colors. All right. I'm grabbing another page for a mop-up. You use a template to cut yours out? You know, <coughs> <coughs> unless you're wanting a specific shape to your tags, I just cut a corner on them. All right, so there's what that looks like so far, but I'm not done. I'm going to take the journal line stencil and lay this on top and get it lined up. And then I'm going to take the peacock gold. It's kind of a brown gold. It's really pretty. You do both also. I'll show you a, a quick way that I make tags out of papers. I use a lot of, of scrapbook paper. Yeah, I have one of those curvy top punches too, Sandra. This one's one that I have. It's good for a one and a half, two inch, and a two and a half inch uh, piece of paper. It's by the paper studio. All right, so here's what I do. I'm going to lightly spray this on the journal line stencil. And I'm not going to, well, I'll mop it up, but it's going to be brown, <laughs> gold, but it still could be used. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Yep, so we have $24.13 in the drop in the junk box jar. So that's what the journal lines looks like when I did the brown. And then here's what it looks like through the stencil. What do you think of that? So you have a pattern. You've made your own pattern paper. 
and it matches whatever thing you're working on at the moment. That's what I like about using the stencils and the tattered angels is I can make it all match. Oh no, Pam, that's terrible. To your desk, Angelica, so you can work. Yes, yeah, Paper Studio carries that punch. All right, so I'm going to move this. I'll probably lose that stencil now. I'm going to go ahead and fold. See, and it kind of goes through on both sides. I need to fix the zoom on this camera. Since I moved my computer from <clears throat> when we were uh, at the shop, then uh, it's had some demons in it or something. I don't know. Configure. Yeah, I won't be able to change it while we're talking. You're usually on the couch and never get things done. When I do that, I finally moved my laptop back to your craft room. Oh, nice. You like that? Yeah, you like that stencil, Barbara? All right, so we've got those two. I've got some, I've got lots of little embellishments laying here. Here's another page we made. So, let me kind of line everything up here so I can kind of see. Enter the raffle if you haven't done so already. So, these are my scrapbook papers. This is going to be the first page in the journal, so I'll kind of push that up there. That'll be my cover. I think we'll go here. Look in here. All right, so that goes here, and I've got I've got some that I made earlier for my mop up paper. So let's do let's do this. I haven't done it yet. Let's make a pocket page. We'll do that. So I'm going to fold this page in half. You like that journal cover? That's part of the printed journal kit that you can get in my shop, or it's part of the digital download. So you can get it printed or digital download. And look at this. I love the way that Norella brought in this glitter behind there. I mean, it looks like real glitter. See you later, slogan. Have a great day. All right, so all I did was I folded this in half. I like to reinforce the tops, and sometimes I forget when I'm on live with y'all, but I'll fold it over just to kind of get the judgment of how far I want it. And I'll fold this one back on itself. And I'll put some glue in here. Not a lot, just a little bit to kind of help press it into place. And a little bit on this side. Okay. Raffle! All right. No, the sheep worked. I just didn't see it. Chris, I saw you. Oh, Dee Dee sent a super chat. Thank you, Dee Dee. Sorry about that. See, I don't know. The sheep box is there, but sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. All right, we're going to go to the sewing cam. Yeah, I'm just using copy paper, Nancy. Just copy paper. I get it from Staples. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me do that. Face zoom. I get it from Staples. I buy it when it's on sale, especially when I can get a coupon for buying it, and it's $9.99. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine. Let me get this where you can see. You can see it there. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew on this edge right here. Can see? Oh, I was going to do a zigzag stitch. So I'm just going to zigzag on there. Like so. I like my little brother sewing machine. It's a been a good workhorse for me. I'm 
when I got to the end, so I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do the other one as well. Sewing cam! I thought y'all would like to have the sewing cam, so... You like my so it's a nice machine. I've had it for about four years now. And it wasn't a cheap machine. I wanted a sh machine that was going to last for a really long time. All right, so I'm going to change camera just for a moment so you can see this. So now I'm going to take this piece of paper and put it on to the page. And I'm going to sew up the sides, across the top, and back down again. I may even look at this. And that way, we don't have a blank space up there. Okay, so let's go back to the sewing machine. Oh, you gave your daughter-in-law your sewing machine? Well, see, now, now you can just go get you a new one. <laughs> I like to sew too, Mary. It's where I basically started in the craft world. I made my own Barbie doll clothes when I was going, growing up. I sewed them by hand, and then later my grandmother, step-grandmother, came to town and brought a sewing machine to me and taught me how to read a pattern, and we made an outfit that I wore to uh, my first day of high school when I went uh, to our new place, and then what else? Oh, I made my own prom dress to my senior prom. It had lots of lace. It was actually a wedding gown pattern, but I made it with a mint green and ivory lace was on it. So it was, it was a pretty dress. I could go grab, oh, you know, that's what I can do. Let me go grab a photo that I have when my uh, mother died. She had all these family photos all over her house, and I got the ones that were of me, and I have them in the other room. All right, is everybody entered in the raffle. We'll do the raffle here in just a moment. All right. Man. Oh, you have a table for your sewing machine, Robin? That's awesome. Yeah, if you always give it away and then you finally get rid of it and then you need it. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you, your mom would make them, Sandra. Well, I made them. My mom didn't make them. <laughs> oh, I hope you. Oh, great, Deborah. Glad you had a perfect uh, checkup. All right, so there is the page that I made. So we'll fold that in half. And I'm going to stick it in this pile up here. All right, I'm going to, yeah, join the raffle. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get the music again. <laughs> All right, so let me see if this will work. So this was me when I was 16 years old, and that's the dress that I made. Maybe I can take it out of the... Come on, are you stuck in there? There we go. So there's the dress that I made. It's kind of It's hard to see on the camera, but it was a mint green and had lots of lace on it. And then here's another photo 
from me wearing that dress. Thank you, Deborah Vick, for your donation. Thank you. Sherry used to make all your daughter's clothes back when in school. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, doll clothes to Matt's. That's super cute. Um, Nancy, usually I'm here almost three hours, usually two and a half hours. So back when I was in high school. <laughs> All right, so now we've got to do the raffle. So I'm going to change that back and get my notepad. So everybody entered the raffle. Yeah, two to three hours. And you, if you want to watch the replay, you can. You can two times the speed. Thank you, Barbara. I'm, I'm blessed that my mom had them because I didn't have those photos. I have a couple, but not very many. Thank you very much, Sherry. All right, so we're going to enter the raffle, and I'm going to do the giveaway. And the next giveaway we're going to do is um, junk book. So Robin got the pink tags. All right, so pick a winner. Sherry, you're the winner of the other pink tags. And I have your address, so I can mail your tags probably with your order. <laughs> Kathy Lake asked me when her journal was coming, and I've been showing it to other people. <laughs> so I was like, uh, soon? <laughs> You know, when, when you love a journal and you want to just share it with other people and then because I'm giving them away, I usually have to take some photos and send them off, but I've been hanging on to them. Sorry, y'all. Um, so that I can, uh, share it with other people and see what they think of it in person. All right. So the next raffle, so I'm going to clear that and this is for 200 junk bucks. So you can use the junk bucks when you get to 2000 to buy things in my shop. So that's why I'm giving you junk bucks to help you get to 2000. So go ahead and enter raffle. Raffle. All right. You want mop up pages? Okay, Angelica, we'll do that next. We'll do that next. I think I have one, two, three, yeah, I've got three laying here. Oh, and here's one that I didn't use earlier. We'll lay that there. That's good, Sherry. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> it helps save me on shipping. Because <laughs> shipping is expensive, y'all. Have y'all been to the post office lately? It's crazy. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get these out. All right, so I've got the cover, and I was kind of flumming through these earlier, so I have these in order. Oh, maybe I changed my mind. I think I want this to be the first thing you see. Yeah, I think so. And for those of y'all that didn't know, this is the Royal Peacock. This is part of the printed kit, and I've also got a few pages from the planner kit that I'm going to use today. And Norella took my gel prints and made them the background of that butterfly. And then some of these other areas that you see, that's my gel prints as well that I sent to her. Time for a free raffle! <laughs> <laughs> so, Angelica, what you're telling me is I should just mail some uh, mop-up pages to you. <laughs> I have a pile of things that I need to mail, so I'm hoping to do that uh, either tomorrow or Saturday. Henry's telling me that we're going to go uh, on a trip. Oh, I didn't. I should have done that. Okay, so this is one of the planner pages. I should have showed you all that. And then this is a page I made before I came on today. So let me tell you what I did. Is This is a dictionary page that I just tore a strip and laid it across the top. Did another one across the bottom. Kind of Franken page style, the way I do those. If you aren't real sure about what I'm talking about, just search on my YouTube for Franken pages. And you'll see how I put them together. 
and then I put down some gel prints on the sides and in the middle and then this is one of those tear up uh, notepads and I just put it right here but before I put those down and before I put these down I sprayed this with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist so you can see that yes after this it'll be for mop-up pages Sandra right now it's junk bucks and as soon as I pick the winner it'll be the uh, uh, mop-up pages Yeah, Deborah, I think I've seen that. It's called Kaleidoscope. I saw it at Creativation. It's beautiful purples. It has um, uh, uh, a zebra and a couple other things, too, if I don't remember right. So then I took these two pieces and just by themselves sprayed them and then glued them down. And then I used the best glue ever. I put a bead of glue right across here and right across there. And I stuck this trim down on top of it after it air dried for just a little bit it makes it a lot easier and then this is washi tape that I happen to have in my stash and I just thought that turned out pretty cool pretty cool you like it all right so we're gonna go back over here again so this is another one of the pages from the printed kit I love this page isn't that gorgeous Thank you, Christy. All right, so here's the page with the envelope, so I'll open that up. This is another one of the planner pages, so that's one side. And in this case, it has journaling lines on both sides. And then I'll show you, this is the one we made earlier. So we're going to put that right here. Isn't that going to look good? You love it. So like this one. And then this is another one of the journal pages. And the journal pages and the digital download, this is another one of my modified gel prints. So I made a gel print. I gave Norella the stencil design digitally. And she took my gel prints and put this together. <clears throat> love the feathers. And then this is going to go here. Love it. Thank you. And then this is another one of the planner pages. Okay. And then this is my center page. So I'll talk this through. Love all the pages. Thank you. So we've done this before. It's a strip of paper on the top and the bottom. I put paper in the center. This is a quarter sheet of an eight and a half by 11 or letter size that I sprayed and it, and it shows up really well on the camera I'm impressed that is the Bella Rose royal gold not Bella Rose thank you Lynn for your donation I keep saying Bella Rose because that was all, all Bella Rose for so long this is royal gold from the royal peacock and that's how that made that beautiful shimmer on there you can't wait, Deborah. You're looking forward to this one. And you got the paints, too. So you're going to have fun with the paint. So that's what I did on this side. And then on this side, I made three pockets. Can anybody see what I used to make those pockets? Do you know what I used? Well, I don't have the same ones, but I think you'll get the idea. I used paint chips. I used paint chips and layered them to make pockets. So that's going to go in the center. You like that? And then these are some journal cards I made with some gel prints to put in the pockets. And they stop because the bottom of this piece is glued down under here. And then this one goes here. Paint chips. You saw it, didn't you? If y'all want me to make a tutorial on that, let me know, and I will, uh, I'll start working on that. And I'll have a new tutorial up Saturday. If y'all didn't see the, um, easy junk journal page that I created for the Linda's Wisdom Journal, I have a video showing you how to make that page. You like that with paint chips? Yeah, aren't paint chips fun? All right, I'm going to get something to drink. Be safe, Christy. Don't have an accident. 
Barbara, you want me to make a tutorial for this page? I can do that. Now know that it takes time for me to do this, y'all. <laughs> so when I move them out there, I, w I really appreciate you sharing it and leaving comments and giving me thumbs up. Because, <laughs> you know, y'all see these videos that I'm doing. And yes, it takes three hours sometimes to put a journal together. But when I do a tutorial, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that everything's clear and concise and we're not rambling and trying to put it all together. And then I have to edit that video and I have to edit the photos and then upload it, write a blog post to go with it. <laughs> so it takes some time. <laughs> Okay, be super careful, Christy. <laughs> All right, so I've just put my template down the center. We're going to do what I normally do. It's just a three-hole pamphlet stitch. I do it because it's easy. When I'm showing people how to do it, it's relatively easy for them to learn for the first time. You know, once you've done it a few times, you become really uh, in tune with how it all comes together, and you won't have any problems putting it together. There's some others that are cool, but they're kind of complicated. Oh, thank you, Regina, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Okay, so I punched holes in it. I'm going to put my little, in my little junk journal tool sack that Henry made for me. And I have these available in my shop. They're $9.99. And you can put that Tim Holtz craft pick will fit in there. So that's how the size of it. It's a good size. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Karen, Karen, for saying that. All right. Have a joyful day. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Mary. All right. So I've got a needle and I've got wax linen thread. And for those of you that don't know, wax linen thread is a heavier thread. It's coated so that when you make your journal, it's not going to break on you. Also, because it's coated, it won't slip. So if you ever picked up a book and the spine is all wonky and it's all coming apart, it's because they didn't use very good thread. And that can happen in your journal. So use a good thread. And then I have book binders needles in my shop. They're $5 for two of them. These are heavier than your average needle. I'm pushing really hard. Can you see how my finger's turning white? And it's not bending. And you want a sturdy needle when you're trying to push through a bunch of papers. It's also four inches long, so it makes it a lot easier to handle. So what I'm going to do now is to do three lengths of the height of the journal. So that's one. I can get my thread. Two and three, and I'll cut this off. And I love my little, and I know this sounds like a commercial, but have, have, who has hard time when they're cutting stuff out and their hands start hurting? And it's because you have your hands inside a typical pair of scissors and you're having to push back and forth. You know, my fingers on here start hurting. My thumb starts hurting up here. If you are one of those people, pick up some of these Fisker scissors because they're spring loaded and it's so easy to cut with these. I have been using them ever since they came out with this design. All right, so I've got all my journal pages lined up. I'm going to go from the center. You'll have those fish. I did. Yeah, I'm glad you got some, uh, Lynn. I showed those to her at a workshop and she went over to Hobby Lobby because you can use a 40% off coupon and pick some up. And for those of y'all that don't have Hobby Lobby, you some other the craft stores have them, but I also have a link to Amazon. So if you want to order one. Yeah, so the extra length of the fiber that's on here for this, you can cut it off. You can uh, add something to it, tie it into a bow. How about today? I've got some little hearts punched here. I'll put some punches on there. Yeah, add an embellishment. I had I did a workshop with Lynn and her son's girlfriend. I guess it's her fiance. I think they they're they're not married yet. And she got the beads out of the kit and put those on. It looked really good. I was impressed with how she put it together. 
All right, so I'm going to put my needle back in my junk journal tool so I know where it's at in my thread. Have that all put away. Okay, so I'm going to tie this off. I've got a good tight on the front and the back, and I'll tie it again. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to add little hearts, and I know I saw some here. Let's see if I've got enough. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we've got some gold, some gold hearts. So that'll stick out on this page. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do is I've got a little bitty heart. Do y'all need me to zoom in on this? Bye, Nancy. Yeah, I've got some of those for rubber stamps too. All right, so I'm just going to put about a drop of glue in here. Then I'm going to take the string, and I want it to go this way, where the heart is facing, hanging down. So I'm going to lay the string in there. Then I'll grab the other half of the heart. And if I don't have enough glue, I'd put some more on the other side. And I'm going to squish these together and hold it for just a moment. Okay. You want some jewelry making journal? Uh, I have a couple for making charms. Yeah, uh, Robin, that's right. Uh, Joanne's has some. I have a couple on making journal charms. Um, I could probably do some. It hasn't really been a big. Um, deal for me to do with jewelry because I don't personally like having a lot of jewelry and bumpy things in my journal and I like mine smooth <laughs> I don't know I'm weird I use my journals and if you put really thick embellishments in them they're hard to write in the journal you have to have things that you pull out okay so those should be glued down put my do you see that with the little hearts? Do you like that? You did that, Kim? It's so simple to do um, just to add a little bit of embellishment. You can use those little seed beads that come in the Royal Peacock kit. They'll fit on there. So that would be kind of fun as well. Alrighty, so let's see. We need to do another giveaway. And... Yeah, use the beads. Just kind of slip them on here. You can also make them um, um, dangles off of a journal. I don't think... Did Naomi put some on hers? No, she didn't. Um, that's what I want to do. Is I'll, I'll make some that will hang off this way, I think. Uh, I thought I had... A scrap of paper here that I want to use. So I'm digging through my stuff to see if it's still here. I think I found it. No, I didn't find it. Darn. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll grab. Do we want to do that color? Oh, I have a purple one. We'll do purple. Or do you want pink? Do you want a pink pen or a purple pen? Not yet. I'm getting ready to. Getting ready to do the drawing. I wanted to find a piece of paper. Do you like the pink or the purple? Pink or the purple? All right. Give away. All right. I hope the screen's not messing up. Because it's messing up on my end. Pink pen. Okay. I'm seeing pink first. Angelica says purple. I see three, four, 
four, five people that said pink. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the giveaway. Oh, Robin, really? <laughs> so glad you joined us, Jenny. Hey. All right. So we're going to do uh, pick a winner. Oh, get in the raffle, Jenny. Hurry. Get in the raffle while I get a drink. Ugh. The screen started working. Thank you, Jenny, for your donation. If if it straightened out, I don't know why. I just did it for just a moment. <laughs> I see more pink than I do purple. Thank you so much, Jenny, for your donation. <laughs> All right. So enter the raffle, and I'm going to draw. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to need my paper cutter. Raffle. Janice got in. Jenny got in. Sally got in. Yeah, I noticed you said purple. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the giveaway. And we're going to pick a winner. And DDB. DD. You won 200 junk bucks. I'll add those to your account when I get off here. So we're going to reset this. And we're going to do mop up pages. So we're going to open the giveaway. I've got a few mop up pages here. And the lucky winner will get those. Okay. Raffle. Enter the raffle. Congratulations, Dee Dee. All right, so I want to make a pen for my journal. And I've got a tutorial on how I did this. Um, this is just going to be a little bit different than my tutorial because I'm using a longer piece of paper. So I've got a, I just remember I didn't have it quite over all the way. Okay, I wanted a one and a quarter inch strip by 12 inches. You can do it 11 inches as well. It just makes your pen a little bit shorter. The giveaway is for Angelica, so whoever wins, Angelica gets it. Is that what you're saying, Angelica? <laughs> whoever wins, it's really going to Angelica. <laughs> Thank you, Robin, for sharing that. I know that there are some people that are deaf or that are watching this without uh, the sound on. So I appreciate it if y'all repeat things for our audience. It's grateful uh, to help people like that. YouTube doesn't automatically um, code this for um, closed caption. It has to be done manually. And sometimes it gets done and sometimes it doesn't because I have to wait on the community. Hey, the Pecan Pick Tan Beauty! Enter the raffle. You're very welcome, Angelica. Oh, <laughs> uh, I still never found my exacto knife, I guess. I know I saw it again. After the stream, I found it. Isn't that usually how it goes? As you find things after the fact. Okay, it's not there. All right, so here's what I did. I took this one and a quarter inch strip by 12 inch strip and I fold it in half. And if I had my craft knife, I would just um, cut a slit. But since I don't, I'm just going to kind of cut just a little bitty bit of a sliver somewhat in the center of this piece of paper. Okay. So it's just a little sliver there. And then I'm going to grab my ATG gun. You can use double-sided tape, whatever kind of double-sided tape adhesive that you like. Tape just works better than glue because glue is just gooey and messy and it doesn't set up really fast. And you're like, Bleh. unless you want to use hot glue, and then you got to worry about burning yourself. So I'm going to go down the center. I'm going to stop where the hole is and lift. And then I'm going to go down the center. Then I'm going to go down the sides. And this is called an advanced tape gun glider. And uh, I bought one because it was just so recommended. 
and I always have issues with loading it because I don't remember how to get it to work right and it's expensive so I don't use it very often I've got a few videos where I show using it but I knew I had several rolls of that tape so I could make these little pins like this and this is sticky okay yeah glue lasts longer who won the journal last week? Um, that was Elsie. Elsie won the journal last week. Yeah, Elsie. She's one of. She's another one of my wonderful cust, uh, customers. I really. Uh, yes, yeah, thank you, Christy. Uh, and I am very blessed to have her. So this is just a gel pen that I got at Staples. Just a cheap gel pen. When you look at them, you want a pen that isn't really fat because some of these gel uh, inserts are really fat and it's just too bulky so you want a thinner one and I haven't found a craft for these so I'm just going to throw them away because I don't need anything else <laughs> depends what made the journal last journal so awesome <laughs> oh good you use yours oh I was poking it all the way through so now what I'm doing is going to grab and poke this through on this side but I want to leave a little bit sticking up so I'm just gonna go really close okay but not all the way and then I'm gonna grab my tape gun again and I'm gonna put glue or tape you could also put E6000 here if you want I've seen other people do that and um, just whatever you want all right so then we gotta don't forget to put the pin in <laughs> and I'm going to try to get it somewhat centered if possible before I s close up the sandwich okay and it works better if you have a 12 inch strip because you can get the pen out of the way of the paper clip um, and if you are having issues with that another way to do this is to glue the paper clip under a piece of paper on the back side all right so I'm going to fold this down carefully matching it up and then I'm going to start pinching around the pin so it's kind of curved around it and it may get off a little bit you like the pins Christy thank you oh no Sandra thank you Karen for reminding me <laughs> all right So I've gone down and made sure it's really flush and you can see the paper clip here. And I got off a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of trim this up. Both sides. You could probably get away with a one inch strip of paper as well. It depends on how big around the barrel of your pen is how's the junk jar coming well let me check I haven't checked that in a while let's refresh we have $35.11 in the junk jar so we're about 15 away oh Henry says 33 14 all right so I'm gonna cut this at a diagonal here because it makes it a little bit easier to hold it's kind of hard to hold with the wings so I'm going to go in here and don't uh, don't go too close, but I'm going to go right up here. See that? And then I'm going to take this piece and flip it over on this side. Oh, uh, thank you, Angelica, for your donation. Thank you so much. And then I'm going to go on this side and cut that. See there? Oops. I'm going to cut that. The little dancing sheep. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Did we turn off the sound on the sheep? I don't remember. <laughs> I may have to ask uh, it, what we did. And we'll have to find some different music that's out there that we enjoy, right? If you don't win the Moppet pages, you want the journal. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab some fibers and... Since we did use pink, I've got a pink piece of ribbon here, so I'm just going to cut that and 
I use these fibers on other things, so I'm going to grab some off of here. Come on, where's the end? Okay, so I got a little bit more. And then there's the ribbon. You're caught up now. <laughs> yeah, at least you had the sheep. You got to see the dancing sheep. <laughs> and I really do appreciate your donations. It really does help me uh, pay for my internet. <laughs> and I Henry bought me a new uh, computer, so we're paying for that now. So it really does help, and I greatly appreciate your donations. It also helps me a little bit pay for my shipping on stuff. All right, so I'm just pulling this through. My hole's not very big, but I got it. So if you ever, see how I was able to pull that through by using another piece of thread. That's how strong this, this wax linen thread is, too. <laughs> Linda's Hunger Games are coming soon. <laughs> You converted it, or you might be a tad off. That's okay. You paid in euros. So what do you think? You like that? So it just kind of gives a little fun. And they're easy to, uh, to write with. This is my name. Actually, there's an A in there. Have you joined the raffle for the mop-up pages? Raffle! Join the raffle! Alright, so now I want to put these tags back in here. And we're going to start decorating this journal. And I'll give away... Do I have some more junk bucks? No, I may have something else here. I got something else here we can give away. Like that? So what I like about it is that I can stick this right here in my journal. And because it's got a paper clip on it, if I'm writing in my journal, then I can put it on a page further in and I'll know where my, my spot is. Okay. All right. So let's kind of look here. I've got a pocket. I've got some embellishments that I made. Here's some more tags. I do have some trims we could use. I got a couple of pieces of gel print laying out here. There's another. So I'm just going to kind of lay some things out here and see what I can come up with. Oh, I forgot to put that in there. Oh, looky, I found some more mop-up pages we might be able to give away. <clears throat> okay, so let me get this out of the way. Okay. Oh, and I got a, I got a mini out. Do y'all want me to make a little mini? Let me know if you want me to make a mini. I may want that. Let's, see, let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. Alrighty, so I know... Oh, that'll work. Okay, so here's... I was going to put this as a page in the journal, but I had it covered up. So instead, we're going to make it a journaling thing within. Okay, so basically all I did was... This is a book page. Let me get this out of the way. That's a book page. And then I took some gel prints, and I didn't sew them to the page. I just, or did I? No, I did. Yeah, I did. I take that back. I sewed them to the page here. And then on the other side, I used the other pieces of paper that I cut up earlier. Yeah, my desk is crowded again. <laughs> um, and I used the shabby stitches stamp set and stamped. So it looks like I sewed, but I didn't. And then the pockets are perfect. Or tags or whatnot and then this comes in the kit but I cut off the 
pieces that you're supposed to use to make it a pocket because I thought it's so pretty I don't want to glue it down and I didn't really want to have it slide in and out of something so I thought well why not just make it a little book in a sense um, whoever gets this journal you could add some pages to it and it could become a fuller mini journal so that's a, something you can do with it. It probably won't fit in the pocket after you put some pages in it, but you can find another spot. So what do you think of that? I think I'm going to stamp on there. Somebody wants me to make a mini. All right, well, I'm going to stamp on this, and then I'll quickly um, get some supplies laid out here and make a mini using some, we'll make some more mop-up pages. Do I want to do that color? I think I will. I think I'll do it in the tealy blue. Make a mini! Alright, so I'm going to stamp this. Let's move this out of the way for a moment. Ooh, I like the way that blue pops on that purple. Let's see. Let's do this. I like that. You like that? Make a mini. You may not go. <laughs> you can't enter. Then Angelica won't win. <laughs> uh, I've got a. Well, that's not a very pretty one. I had some gel prints here that were kind of flub ups the paint tore the paper let's see what else I got oh let's do that and let's make some mop up pages oh I found another mop up page <laughs> More mop up pages. All right. So the reason I'm going to make a mop up page this time is because I want to cut it up to make the pages, and I just want something pretty. And I've got here my half stencils. So where's the other one? There it is. So these are part of the Artistic Stencil Club. These are the half stencils. So what I'm going to do here is I've got different colors here that I'm going to put inside my book. All right, so I'm going to spray some of the Peacock, Royal Peacock, and then we're going to do the darker blue. And we haven't used the green much, so I'm going to get the green out. Making tag pages with lightweight file folders. Yeah, share them with us when you get them done. Now, is it because you had file folders, or did you buy file folders just so you could cut them up? And always keep your lid on while you're shaking, because it could leak <laughs> and it becomes a mess oh yeah I like that all right so then I'm gonna take another sheet of paper and we're gonna mop up okay and I'm gonna spray this side I think we'll just do it with the so then you get two designs, and I'm going to cut this apart, and it'll be pages for the journal. And this is what it looks like when you spray through it. You like that? Oh my goodness. Computer is not happy, it sounds like. I just love technology. <laughs> but I didn't depend upon it so much, I could do without it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's dry this. 
Is everybody entered in the raffle? They're naked now. Well, don't go back and forth, Sandra. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> don't make yourself dizzy going back and forth. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> All right, so this is going to go in here. I got a couple of pages here, so which cover do we want the cover of the mini to match the big or do you want the other cover? And then I think Okay, so we'll do those two. Which cover do you like for the mini? I picked the pages. Thank you, Mary. All right, so I'm going to cut these pages to be the same size as these pages and cover. So I'm just going to use one of the pages and lay it with the others. And I think my pages are still damp, so hopefully they'll cut. And they won't tear on me. Yay! And then I'm going to do that again. Aw, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> but don't get dizzy. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So now these are the same width. And I think, let me see how much. Uh, we might make some little pockets out of those, so I won't cut them. Okay, so I've got two of these pages, and how many of these do we want to use? I think we could do this where, do we want this to be the inside or this one? Oh, Jenny, the the stamps have a cling on them, so you can take an acrylic block and stick them and use it. Uh, a lot of companies no longer do the wood blocks anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Did I miss anything else? <clears throat> Dictionary pages and glassine bags. Yeah, fun. We have a Friends of the Metropolitan Library book sale. You want the right one. Oh, wait. For the inside. The right one. So this one. Or the butterfly. Yeah, I've forgotten which one's the first page. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good to take them out of the bag. There we go. All right. Which ones y'all want? This one or this one? Okay. And I think what I'll do is that's going to be the front. Oh, no. That's not what I want to do. I want to take this, move that over. I'm just using the page as a guide and folding them over. And then I'll fold it again. And there'll be a little flip out. Okay. So I'll do that again. Yeah, the stamps you ordered, you just use an acrylic block. If you're talking about the stamps you ordered for me, there's um, a little peel thing on the back that you peel off, and then you can get acrylic blocks 
or you can use an old CD case. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else you could use. Don't forget the ra I got ink all over my hand because I was playing with the stamp. Okay, so we'll do this one more time. Do this and fold it up. And then we'll fold this again. Raffle! Okay, I'm going to save those for something else. And I think I'm going to pick the same cover as the other cover. Yeah? And I'm going to fold this in half. And where's my bone folder? It disappeared. There's one. Okay, and the paper shifted on me. Alrighty, so we'll do this really fast. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, gotcha. I understand, Jenny. You just, you just kind of needed a reminder, the block. <laughs> I understand. I know you, you told me about your concussion. I hope you're doing better. <clears throat> I don't think that one was long enough. Come on, where's my... I got that. This bag is so big, it's hard to find stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear okay so I'm going to put my little I got a little template that I use for my smaller journals Barbara Oliver you won the FFA <laughs> that's funny <laughs> uh, bucks do y'all have bucks? We don't have any doughs here. We just have junk bucks. The junk jar is $14.65 short, Robin tells me, to give away the journal that I am making today. I'm trying to hustle, hustle, hustle. You're close again already. All right, we're going to start in the middle here. We'll go to the top. But see how fast you can make even just a little journal with papers that you probably already have? Oh, yeah, I was going to use a gel print. Oh, well, I covered it up, so I forgot about it. That's what happens. <laughs> what Robin, what Linda said. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Jenny, for your donation. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna tie this off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll trim this. $12.66 short, Angelica says. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I have enough little hearts here that we're going to do that same technique that I did earlier of adding the hearts to the page. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on there. I'm going to lay the heart in here. I'm kind of making sure there's lots of glue on that string. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you so very much. And then I'm going to press these together. It went down for me. So I'm checking to see if I'm still here 
Let me see. Yes, okay, that worked. Okay, yay! <laughs> My screen just went blank. It, the program that I used just went away. Thankfully, I could go in and restart it, and it just it let me restart. So we're at 4135 in the junk bucks, and thank you so much, everybody, for sticking with me, because <laughs> that freaked me out. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Henry! <laughs> you may need to refresh. So if someone would say that, if they're not working, just say, refresh. <clears throat> oh, Henry said six something. I just went to a screen that I refresh, and I think that's probably with the conversion is why mine was um, less. That's cute! All right. Okay, yeah, I just I just went to the website that tracks it. That's why I said that. It said forty one thirty five. That's probably with the um, uh, conversion. So that's why. Yeah, he may not have converted it, Robin. That happens. <laughs> okay, so I made the mini. Y'all want me to do the raffle for the um, uh, mop-up pages now? I can do that. And I've got another set of mop-up pages that I can give away. Do you want me to do that while we're um, putting the embellishments in here? All right, get in the raffle. I need some water this time. Crossing fingers. All righty. Harry got in the raffle. I'm waiting just a little bit longer. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you. Janice got entered. Anybody else? Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. I didn't see that. I apologize. Thank you. Thank you. Need caffeine. Me too. <laughs> I got herbal tea, so I didn't get any caffeine. Uh, a pink rock. I don't know. The computer just, the screen just went blank. I restarted it and it went back again. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> It'll just make my videos longer. Exactly, Sherry. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Dee Dee got in. All right. So I'm going to do the giveaway. Pick a winner. Karen Owens. Karen Owens. You won Mop Up Pages. And E N S. Um, please send me your address <clears throat> and I'll give you. If you'll message me either on my webpage or on Facebook with your mailing address, then I can um, get you these mop-up pages. Alright, so I'm going to do one more mop-up pages. So we're going to go to the giveaway. You're welcome! Well, Karen, you're very welcome. Yeah, please uh, send me a message with your mailing address. Yay! Okay, we're going to do it again. I got two, uh, another set of mop-up pages that I found while I was cleaning up. So we're going to do that. Allow entries. Alright, you can enter again. Raffle! Don't, don't want to make you sick. Okay. So now, yeah, I'm liking this. I think this would, oh, look, I made this card out of one of the elements in the kit and sprayed it with the royal gold. And so, and I also used my um, Krylon pen to make little dots in the gold. Can you see that? 
and then added the rhinestones and stuff. Yay! More mop-up pages! I think that would look kind of cute on that page. What do you think? Make it as a, a tuck spot. I'm into tuck spots. You like the crown? Oh, wait. It's not a... I take that back. I forgot. I made it in a paper clip. I was about to glue it down. <laughs> I'm losing it. All right. Let's put it... Let's put it on one of these pages. There we go. And I made a booklet earlier. So here's what I did. <laughs> Robin, don't tell them, she says. <laughs> um, so this is a book page that I just adhered on the little tear-off things. I used some of the Distress Oxide, stamped it with the Distress Oxide, and now it's a little booklet that you can write on using some of that junk that you have in your stash. I got one of these, the large journal card with the uh, word find, word search on there. You like that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please glue the paper glue down. <laughs> I got so caught up. <laughs> I got so caught up in telling y'all about the crown, I forgot that it was a embellished paper clip. <laughs> Hello, Becky! <laughs> Oh dear, too funny. See, I like how that page looks now. What do you think of that page? I liked how that one came together. That one turned out pretty. All right, let's stick a... Um, do we want to stick a little color on there, maybe? Like that? I think so. I'm going to put a little color on there. <laughs> you like the notepad page? You can even use like a junior legal pad. You can get them in white. I've used those. Um, so if you can't get this size that I get at the Dollar Tree, you can get the junior legal pads. The jar, the jar, the jar. On my end, okay, well that's, my end is stuck. It says 41.35, but I think Henry said it's more than that. <clears throat> Forty-three thirty-five. All right, we need something on this page. How about? Let's see here what we've got. Or do we want to do something like that? Yes, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I do that. Oh, we've got a belly band here somewhere. Here's one. Well, let's do the belly band on there. I think that's what needs to go there. Six sixty-five short. You need a new paper cutter? Yeah, see the the newest one that I got I don't like because um the little whip out bar that you're supposed to use to measure with the numbers you can't see them and I just don't I don't like it so I guess I'll bring my other one back to the house and take this one to the shop for when I'm doing workshops because it drives me batty. I don't like it. <laughs> I want my other one back. So I'm going to put that across here. See, I thought so, Henry. It's 41.35, so I was right because I, I thought it had a bit gone up already. With the conversion to come to US dollars. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put that there. That'll look good, won't it? Oh, I didn't I didn't hold it in place long enough. I moved. So we need let's make another one of those little booklets so you can kind of see what I did. I think I have some more of that paper here. So I, I've got a cup a book here. It's a Reader's Digest and a couple other books that I just ripped the pages out. Well, I'm going to cover that up so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Thank you, Barbara, for your donation. So I'm just going to grab one. 
And then I'm going to grab some of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the rotary, the, the newest rotary, I don't like. I, and it, because I was going to buy one exactly like I had at Wal at Hobby Lobby, but they didn't have it. So you can't see the numbers. I even rubbed an ink pad on it because they're the same color as the plastic, and I don't like it. You was adding what you were supposed to bring home, Henry says. <laughs> okay, so let me set this aside a second. So I've got this page. It's just a book page. I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm going to grab my Distress Oxide. Oh, thank you, Henry. I don't know why you're donating. <laughs> Maybe Henry wants a chance to win the journal. He may want to give it to his girlfriend. <laughs> uh, and Henry donated because it makes up for his error. <sighs> I think that's right, Angelica. About six dollars short, maybe. All right, so I did that side. So now I'm gonna flip it over. Okay. Do this side. just adds a little bit to it that's why I like to do it and then I'm gonna put some distress ink on this one there it's the same brand by Fiskars but it's a different kind um, I think I have the link I don't know if I put it in this video description but I do have the link that's to Amazon so you can kind of look at it <laughs> He wants to arm wrestle me for it, Debbie. <laughs> oh, too funny. <clears throat> yeah, I appreciate any donation, even if it's a dollar. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, it helps us get there. It's kind of a community thing. Uh, you know, I mean, where else could you get this kind of entertainment for a dollar? <laughs> I mean, seriously, how much does it cost to go to the movie theater now or to download a movie off of some uh, pay-per-view uh, website? The other day I was looking and the cheapest movie that wasn't free was like four or something. And I was like, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, let's use this one. This is the boxed squares. So I'm going to put my paper in my spray box. Line this up here. Well, you know, it's okay that you're not fast. Do it any way that you enjoy. If you enjoy doing it, do it. Now, I'm, I'm you know, on a mission here. So I'm working to hopefully inspire y'all and get these made. And so that's why I work fast. And I also do a lot of pre-prep work. So when you're watching TV or whatnot, do some prep work. All right, so I'm going to spray this with some Tattered Angels. And I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, let's see. Let's, let's, I want you all to see this. I'm going to do the royal gold. Okay. What'd you do, Paula? You pay two dollars for your Thursday movie. There you go. <laughs> so I'm using the gold and I'm going to lay these on top. And what's going to be cool about this is it's going to pick up some of the other tattered angels that were on there. And. I'll use one of the mop-up pages so it'll get a neat effect on the other side. So that's kind of cool. So here's what it did. It kind of transferred some of the other color 
And then these two, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, can you see doing that in your antique journals as well? It gets that cool watermark effect. All right. Ooh, the wind. Some, so you want to say, how much do I have now? We have $44.35 with the conversion according to my little thingy I have to click on. <laughs> so, yeah. So about $5 and some odd cents. All right, so we've got these pieces. I'm going to dry them really fast. Yeah, this is April's um, subscription box that I'm working with. April's subscription box. The paints you can get as an add-on. You can also get the mini journal as an add-on. You can get it as uh, printed. And then on the journal kit that I'm using right now, this is the printed kit, but you can also get it as a digital download. And I also have a few planner pages as well in this journal. So right now I'm just making a quick little booklet, if you will. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is put those on this side. So I'm just going to glue this right around the perimeter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're getting closer, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put it right about here. Thank you so much, Robin, for sharing that. You like it? Thank you, Mary. Thank you. I'm trying to look up at the chat. <laughs> Sometimes I get lost. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this on this side. I mean, do you see how I didn't really take a lot of time to do that? But it's really quite pretty when you do it. And then this is the feathered Feather Friends. I'm just put it right here in the middle like that see there and I'm gonna flip it over into the other side and this because we're layering these paces together you got three sheets pretty much you don't have to have cardstock you know a lot of people are like well, what kind of paper this is thin it's book page and the writing paper is really thin so it's not going to take a whole lot of bulk, but because I'm putting the glue on here, it bulks it up a little bit to be stiffer. Yeah, I'm also doing the rainbow boxes. The last one was Outrageous Orange, and I did Radiant Red was first, and the next one will be Yellow. I am going to take the month of May, I think that's right. Um, the month of May, I'm not going to do a rainbow box. I'm going to take that month off to do more stencil stuff and some more gel printing. Because I think y'all like the gel printing. And it'll also give me some time to um, regroup and whatnot, but keep y'all entertained. <laughs> so I may not do a, that kind of journal. I'll also do a, a couple other journal designs that we already have kind of help Norella and promote Calico Collage because she does a lot of work for me and I am blessed to have her in my life. So there we go. I, I can't, I don't sell them separate yet. Right now they're a kit. There are six colors. They're $25.99 uh, plus shipping. You cannot get these colors other, anywhere but me. And the next batch should have my labels on them. So we're going to, they're going to start designing them with my labels, I hope. We're discussing that. <clears throat> All right, so I just put that right there. What do you think? Just kind of added to the journal right there. Okay, so let's flip over here. Got a little piece left. That was a little piece left earlier. 
I think we'll just do a little layered piece right there. Maybe even do this. Look at there. It was like it was meant to be. What do you think? You're very welcome, Janice. It's six. The gold is a set of... There's six in the set, Robin. There's actually six. There's six. All right, so I just put that right in the middle. Sorry, I got off camera. When when I, my desk starts filling up, I start moving this way and this way and this way. <laughs> uh, set of six. It's even better for a set of six. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so then that will go right there. It's like it was meant to be. Do you have the cutter? Oh, really? I'll have to check it. It see, and I think the listing changed with Amazon. They do that sometimes. I'll go in, and a product will change. Do you like the butterflies? I love how she used the gel print behind there. So let's put that right there. Kind of make that a tuck spot. Put that peacock there. All right, so I'm going to go towards the back of the journal. And I've got this little piece. Oh, I know I have some foil paper. Let's get some foil paper out. Let's see what I got here. Um, oh, let's use some green. I haven't used the green yet. I think we need some green, don't y'all? Gotta have some green! I agree. Norella does some beautiful work. Let's cut those. <clears throat> see, and I don't like this one because I can't see. Alright, it is seven and a half and I don't know where the three and a half is supposed to be so I'm just gonna go right there this was some paper that was gifted to me so I'm trying to use it <laughs> every chance I get oh not quite not quite the same size but that's okay so I'm just going to go in here and round the corners. And I'll set these aside. I, I liked using these really bright, vibrant colors. This one was given to me. Um, and then sometimes I go to Hobby Lobby and find the glitter papers on sale. But this one was, it was a AC specialty paper, American Crafts. And it was given to me. It had 48 loose sheets. They're 5 by 7. Lots of pretty colors in it. Okay. I think. Put that on here. Okay, that goes right there. I was trying to read the chat. Yeah, see, I want a different one. Maybe that's what I should do is write to them. Oh, thank you, Paula, for your donation. She donated exactly what we needed. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> I may have to write to them and say, this sucks. It's, I can't see it. Look at that with the gold, the, the glittery behind there. I don't want to glue it down yet, so. Oh, and I have these little pieces. Those will look pretty in there, so let's do that. So these are just some die cuts that I made because I haven't done it in a long time. It's probably been a year since I used my die cutting machine. I've been doing other things. I have a Gemini, and I forget about using it. <laughs> May the Hunger Games be successful. 
Oh, you're too funny. All right, so then let's put, I think that's what we'll put there. So let's go on this side. Let's stamp the butterfly up here in the corner. I'm using the Distress Oxide inks again. There. It's subtle. <clears throat> Alrighty, I've got... Oh look, I got a journal card with a butterfly on it that I'm using. <laughs> you love that die cut? Yeah, it's one I picked up a long time ago. It's probably one of those you can get in China now that they um, ship everywhere. I think I might do that. Then it could be a title if you wanted. Thank you so much, Paula. You're so sweet. That was perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I will. I will. Because, yeah, it's just not, I don't understand why they do that. I don't care how old you are. <laughs> it, it's hard to see. <laughs> okay, I think, let's do this piece. I've got a couple here. Let's do that, like, right here. Yeah, that looks cute. You like that butterfly card? I love the way this is coming together, y'all. With variety in it. When we stamp that one, stamp there. Got a journal card here. This opens up and we have a little journal card in there. Okay, so here's a page that we don't have anything on. So let's put this pocket here that I made. I showed how to make this. I've got a couple of tutorials on that. You just want the journal card? <laughs> you love every page. Thank you. That pen might I You like that pen, huh? Uh, like the pen. And really, if you can buy, oh, thank you so much, Christy, for your donation. If you can buy the pen inserts or pens really cheap, they're not that expensive. I think I pay $12 or $2.90 for the box of pens because they were on clearance. And there's a dozen in there. Thank you so much, Christy, for your donation. Yeah, all your lines and numbers. Yeah, I, I don't get it. <laughs> you wouldn't use it because you don't like peacocks. It's not your thing. Well, let's put that there. Yeah. And then I think we can do this one and then this one. So we got some variety going on. And this we'll put up here. You know what, before I put that down, let's get some fibers. I haven't been using a lot of fibers this time. I put them away, and then I forget about them. I'm going to get my third pair of scissors out now. Uh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's put that up here. You can enjoy the purple. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I wanted bright, pretty colors. And so when I told Norella what I wanted, she was like, okay, I'll do it. And she said she really enjoyed creating the graphics for this one. So I'm glad. I love it too. You'll share. <laughs> they can be mean, Christy. They can be. They're very territorial. They run in little packs. <laughs> They're like, 
you know, hoodlum teenagers. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I think I'll put this here because I like that bright color. What do y'all think? Alright, so I think we're at a point now that I can do the giveaway for the mop-up pages. I've got a few little things here left that I can adhere down. And someone hinted that you wanted me to do a giveaway for the mini journal. Um, so here's what I'll do is we'll do a giveaway for the mini journal to those that donated and then we'll open up for the big journal. So that's what I'll do. Okay. So those that have donated get a chance to win at least these journals. Thank you so much, Rita. Congratulations for being here and being my friend. <laughs> What do you want me to make in lime green? <laughs> uh, yeah, can I? Oh, I see. You want the pen. <laughs> Henry says you'll make one in lime green. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Lorraine. We try to have fun here. <laughs> yeah, I, I always shoe them. <clears throat> Mine. Okay. So we're going to, we're getting ready to do the pages right now. Everybody got entered into the raffle for the mop up pages. Mop up pages are next. Mop up pages are next. I think. So while we're waiting to make sure everybody got entered, don't forget to raffle the mop up pages. Come on. Thank you, Rita. You got entered. You like, you think blues and purples and anything is pretty. I, I like the blues and the, the teals and the purples all together. All right. Let's see here. I think I have a little, oh, I do have some pink left. All right, y'all ready for me to draw? And then we'll start for the mini journal. So the mini journal will be only available to those who donated. When I start that, do y'all need me to read off your names to know that who donated? Okay. Raffle. Raffle for the mop up pages. Oh, thank you, Pink Robin. Well, that's I don't do coffee dyed. I some vintages I'll do. Um, I've done a few, but I do them my own way. I like doing them with the bright colors. I don't it just makes me happier to do the bright colors. Draw, Linda. Well, see, if I had drawn when you said, Robin, Debbie, Deborah Vick would not have been entered into the raffle. All right, so that's going to go here. All right, so I got that ready while I was making sure y'all got in the raffle. <laughs> Boo, Henry says. Okay, giveaway. All right, pick a winner. And that winner is Regina Fresquez. I don't think I... Do I have your address, Regina? That name sounds familiar. Mop up pages. So are you still here, <clears throat> Regina? Congratulations, Regina. Yay! You got my up pages. If you'll message me either through my webpage that Junkie Joe is sharing or through my Facebook page that Junkie Joe is sharing, then I can uh, mail these to you. Okie dokie. All right. So these people have donated 
and they are eligible to enter the raffle for the mini journal as well as the big journal. If you want a chance to win this, donate any dollar amount, can be even a dollar, before I say the raffle's over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm picking a winner and then you can get into that. I know there's about a 20 second delay. That's just the nature of streaming live. Um, and I will try to wait at least 20 seconds to make sure everybody's in. All right. So these people we have donated and they are eligible. And once I click the raffle button, you can get started. So I'm going to get that ready. And we're going to say journal. So this is going to be for the mini journal, and these are the people that have donated. We've got Debbie Zagnaret and Sherry Deskins and Robin Stamp and Robin Finnessy and Karen and Pink Robin and Christy Evelbell Johnson and Pam Emmons and Janice Brammer and DDB and Deborah Vick and Lynn Wheeler, Regino Fresquez, Ginny uh, Delgazzi. Angelica Menzel, and Jenny again, thank you, and Christy again, and Barbara Oliver, my husband Henry, <laughs> Kathy Lake, Paula A., Christy Karma, uh, Sandra L., or Sandra Louise, and Lewis, and Rita Gibson. Y'all are eligible to enter the raffle, and we're going to give away the mini first, and then we'll give away the big one, all right? And then if you want a chance to win this, just donate any dollar amount. The raffle. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. And I think I'm gonna glue this down here. So now what I'm gonna do is just basically I'm going through and I'm gonna finish up adding the embellishments. And I'll wait just a little bit longer to make sure that everybody is entered into the raffle. And then I'll draw and then we'll do the other raffle. Okay. I think I can put that. I'm going to lay it across the bottom. Yeah, no, I'm going to do it this way. It's going to be a, a shallow tuck spot, but it's a tuck spot that you can put a little something if you want. Hey, Kay, so glad to have you here. So glad to have you here. I just made this little mini uh, journal. This is using the Royal Peacock Mini Kit. And I used a stencil from my April Stencil Club that will ship on April the 15th. I even put a little hearts in the center. And this folds out. So that's what I made since you've been here. Yeah, if you donate, make sure that you uh, quickly get entered into the raffle. <laughs> the little journal didn't have a pin, but if I have time to make one before I ship it out, I'll try to put one in there. <laughs> okay, so we did that. So let's put this over here. Oh, thank you, Lorraine, for your donation. Thank you so very much. All right, so I'm going to go back this way. <clears throat> Pen for the mini, Linda, I'm being told. <laughs> That's going to go there. It's going to go there. I like, I love this page. Okay, that one's going to go there, that's going to go there, okay, and this is going to go here, okay, this one's all ready to go, that's another one of those booklets that I made, and this one, I ended up using the Royal Peacock from the kit, Royal Peacock, is what I called it, I thought that, and then over on this side, because I had sewn on the other side, I just put one of those pieces in the middle. I didn't show y'all that earlier. And then these were just scraps that I put on to journal cards. We could put, let's put this over here. Maybe like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think everybody wants me to make a mini pin. All right. Well, I'll do that. Help you give me the chance to do it, and I'll do it live if you want. Just tell me do it live. Make the mini pin live, and I'll do that. I love how this looks. Isn't that gorgeous in here with the pink? And then here is my other little booklet that I made using a book page. This goes in here. Mini pen. Oh, I don't have a mini pen. It would have to be a full-size pen. Linda, Linda says, raffle. Ugh. Oh. I could put this here. I like that. Live pee. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Paula. I think I want to do this. I need a thing there. Let's put this there. Live pin, Mary says. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Beverly. Hey, Beverly, how's your trip going? I hope you're enjoying your time. And thank you, Beverly, for reminding me of that pen tutorial that, you know, we used to make those a lot back in the 90s. And she sent me a video link. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I need a, I feel like I need a couple more journal cards. Maybe. Actually, this page needs something, doesn't it? Why don't we do that? Okay. All righty. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Robin. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make two more little journal cards. And then y'all want me to make another pen. Do you want this one to be pink or do you want this one to be purple? Pink or purple? Um, let's see. Mm. Ah. Those would work. And since we've got all these other patterns, let's go back to this pattern again, which is boxed flowers. So we have purple and teal. So I think we'll do some of the teal. All right, you want me to make a purple pin this time? Okay, Henry says purple. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be, I look forward to it when you get back. For y'all that don't know, Beverly is the designer, creator, owner of Beeline Design. So... This rubber stamp that I was showing, that's from Beeline Designs that I offer in my shop. And that's her designs. I think I'll do a little bit of purple. I think this purple is my favorite because I've used the most of it. I have, I have. Alright, so we'll grab another piece of paper. Neon green. I don't have any neon green. <laughs> green for Robin. <sighs> ah. Okay. So while those dry, let me get my purple piper out that I just had a minute ago. Uh, what do I do with it? Oh, there it is. Found it. And I think I have a couple pins left. <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to this. I'm gonna start this pen. And we're going to um, call the winner of the mini and their pen. And the pen's not going to be a mini. It's just going to be a pen. Sorry. I don't have uh, little 
uh, gel pen inserts. You didn't win yet! Henry wins every day, Paula says. <laughs> Alright, so I've got this started. Let me get this. Alright, we're going to draw for the winner of the mini. So if you have donated, make sure that you hit raffle now. So I'm going to get that ready in just a moment. So that's why I'm warning you. I'm going to get this started and then I'll... I'll do it. You want the dirt journal, Deborah? <laughs> I think everybody wants it. Robin says, Every, you're delusional. The journal is mine. <laughs> oh, the bunny? That's for the, um, for the dancing sheep. Or no, the bunny. Sorry. The bunny is something else. I don't know what the bunny is. Raffle! If you donated, make sure you get in the raffle! Jenny, do it again because you forgot the exclamation point. You have to do it like this. If you donated, get in the raffle! <sighs> Christy says, I love my journals, please and thank you. I want it. <laughs> okay. Is everybody in the raffle? Alright, I'm just doing the same technique that I did before, putting the tape on here. Okay, then I'm going to grab my paper clip. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, how funny. You made a little bunny for the journal. Oh, how cute. I used to make little bunnies. I used to make little fabric uh, bunnies, and I sold them, a bunch of them. I think I have, I still have some at the shop that I made years and years ago. Back in the 90s. <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right, so I'm going to put that in the center. All right, everybody entered in the raffle. I've warned you. So I'm going to smash this together. And then I'll draw for the mini journal in this pen. Okay. And then we'll raffle off the big journal. Because that won't take very long. You don't have any holiday papers? You know, I don't really use that many holiday papers. I buy or get the digital downloads. And I think I have an old, maybe two pads of holiday papers that I've had for like five years. Yes, I remember the beanbag frogs. I used to make them. <laughs> I used to make them. We used to throw them at each other. They were a weapon. They were a weapon. <laughs> All right. All right, I think everybody's entered into the raffle that's going to be entered into the raffle. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to draw in just a moment. I'm grabbing some more fibers for this pen. <clears throat> Look, they were so much fun, Jenny. <laughs> Mine! <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, I have a few of the Calco collage papers. I don't I don't buy that many anymore. I have some that I've had for a long time. And I think two of them were given to me. Alright, so we're gonna pick the winner of the mini journal and the pen. So I'm gonna pick that now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? 
Are you ready? I don't think you're seriously ready. <laughs> All right, pick winner. Deborah Vick! You won the win, the mini, the mini, the mini. Congratulations, Deborah. You won the mini. Yay! <laughs> it happens. It happens, Sandra. I can't keep up with the posts. <laughs> so it's okay if your typing doesn't. <sighs> All right. Yay! Junkie Joe spelled your name wrong, Henry. <laughs> I didn't see Junkie Joe type your name or anything that looked like your name. <laughs> Let's do one more. We'll make it fluffy. Now this is where you can add your beads, embellishments. Just put a lay a strand of beads in there as well. You know, so you can do that. For those of you that have a bunch, bunch, a bunch, a bunch of beads. No! It's, he's spelling it right. I updated him. I took him to school about how that was spell, spelled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start the raffle again. Sorry, I didn't get it going. Yay! <laughs> yep, I'll put it in your box, Deborah. Deborah. All right, so I've opened the, jur the for the big journal now. Type raffle to win if you have donated. Okay, make sure you enter to win. See, you could put beads hanging off of here. Snort. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay, so this will go together. In fact, it should hold it closed. So it becomes the closure. What do you think? Cute, 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 cute. <laughs> All righty. Well, we're almost done here. So everybody gets entered in the raffle. All right, so we're going to put these pieces down, and then I think, um, I don't care that they're tagged, but I'm going to round the corners of those. So I'm going to glue this down and then round the corners. Um, are, is there any questions? Does anybody need anything or have questions? This is the time to ask. No need to bother entering the raffle for the journal. She's got it covered, says Sherry. <laughs> Lots of charms would be good, yeah. Because you get a couple of feather charms with the Royal Peacock Kit. Yeah, with feathers, yes, yes. Hey, Adam! You came at the perfect time at the when I'm at the end, so I can do the flip through of it. <laughs> and if you want to have a chance to win this journal, uh, make a donation of any dollar amount and enter raffle after you've made the donation, and you could win this journal. So I'm gonna lay that there, and I'm just gonna close it over. So this is the Royal Peacock, Adam, that I'm working with. Let me get that out of the way so it's not distracting us. Any. Okay, so this is the Royal Peacock, and this is the add-on kit. Um, it's $14.99 for the printed kit. If you want the digital download that's with the subscription box, it's $10.99. If you're not getting the subscription box, it's $14.99, and it is a subscription. It's every two months, but you can cancel at any time, and then in two months, you're going to get a different kit. So this is the cover that I chose today. 
and I showed them how to make this pen atom out of cardstock, glitter cardstock. I have a tutorial for that, so you can check it out. So it's kind of handy. It'd be great to sim with a greeting card or something. And then these are elements that are the fussy cut items that go with the Royal Peacock kit. This was just something I've made. And then this is a planner page that is an add-on as well. So you can get the printed planner if you want. A belly band here. Yes, I got to add the printed mini to the store. Yes, Christy. Can I pick you to win this one? Maybe, Sherry. Thank you so much, Adam. You're excited about it, Robin? Yay, I'm so glad. She is not here today. She had a home repair and had to be there for the contractor. She said, I'm sorry, and I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> So this was a page that I made. This is a book page that I adhered this little tear-off notepads to. And then I sprayed it with royal gold. This is part of the Peacock paint set. And I just love the way this came out. And this is a stencil for my stencil club. Here's another little journal card there. And then this side... I shared is using a dictionary page, some gel prints, another one of those tear-off pages, some trims, and then I also used some washi tape there. You're so excited for it. Yay! Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you so much. I did some gel prints for the kit and sent them to Norella, and she turned them into digital art and made a beautiful kit out of this. One week you'll win, Robin. It might happen. <sighs> Let the new girl win. <laughs> so I made, this is an envelope that I made a little tag out of a gel print. and Or a pocket out of a gel print. And on this side I put a die cut. I love the glitter that I did. And then I made... A little journal card using the Beeline Design Butterfly. So that's your outside. So it's pretty. It kind of goes with the whole overall feel of the kit. Made an altar paper clip before and I tried to glue it down. This is using one of the fussy cut elements in the kit. It's another one of those little booklets. <laughs> oh. oh, and this is some... Uh, Silk from Safra from India. And then I made a little pocket for the word search. All right, so as everybody entered into the raffle, I'll be doing the raffle giveaway in just a moment. So this is a page I made out of a book page. And I added gel print pockets. This is an element out of the kit. And I, it's supposed to be a pocket, but I cut it off to make it a little booklet. Another little tag. And then this side, I stamped, this is uh, Feathered Friends. You win the free raffles, Robin says. And she's, she's won quite a few of the free raffles. She hasn't won a journal yet. You get in, Barbara. Everybody that's, that did it. I heard. I saw that. I'm so glad you got it. So then this will go here. And I love the patterns. Oh, I could add some distress ink to that. Let's do that really fast. I'm just making sure that everybody got entered. I want it to be fair. Because I've had weeks where people donated and I went ahead and did the giveaway and they missed it because <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> okay. Isn't it a beautiful kit, Christy? I love it. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, I didn't put something on this side. Let's put something on this side. Let's grab the... That's another reason why I like to do a flip through. Because then I can see if I miss something. I got it. It took three weeks. Yeah, I can imagine. 
Oh yeah, and this is a page that I made. Yeah, it's amazing with the dragonflies. These are paint chips. All right, is everybody entered in the raffle? Please say, I'm entered in the raffle. My watch is beeping at me. This is going to go here. Got this little journal card there. Made a journal card for this one, this little pockets. Actually, I should turn it this way. That's like a book plate. Just making sure. Yeah, it's a website where they have all kinds of limited time items. Entered, Kathy says. I love this page using the stencil in the background and how I left a void. I don't, it's just really pretty. <laughs> You're entered in the raffle. The raffle is mine. Double checking. All right, when I get to the last page, this is in here. I'm going to draw for the winner. Oh, yeah, I got to sign it. Where's my pen? So there you go. You've got a signed work of art from me. <laughs> all right, and then there's the back cover. There it is, all fluffed out. You like it? Junkie is evil. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, I did put some sewing into this one. I decided since I have my sewing machine right here, I could do a little bit of sewing in it here and there. Oh, yeah, I was going to put that there. You like that journal card? <laughs> oh, Jenny got in. All right. Love it. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Rhonda. All right, let's pick the winner, right? We ready? I'm going to take a drink. Don't be buffering. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No. You need it for your birth daughter-in-law's birthday. Oh, you're nervous, Christy. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. All right, let's do the giveaway. All right. Pick a winner. Lynn Wheeler. Oh my goodness, Lynn, you won. <laughs> Yay! Only because she's a, a dear friend that I've known for a really long time. And she's been coming to my workshops. So I know she'll love this journal. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that makes me happy. Not that I'm not as happy with anybody else. But it's just extra special when I know somebody and they're watching and they won. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You're, that's a good thing that you're near me, uh, Lynn, because apparently there's a lot of people that want this journal. <laughs> oh, dear. I like how it turned out. I love this page. i got to do a tutorial on it. I, I think I set aside enough supplies to do that so I can show y'all. Junkie Joe is evil. You like this one, Henry? Thank you so much. Thank you. That's really sweet of you to say that. He doesn't have to say that. When he does, he means it. I, I just love being able to use all these bright colors together. You know, even the green in here. I should have used more green. And I may do that on the next one that I'm making on Monday at 3.45 p.m. Your life may be in danger, Lynn. You might watch out. <laughs> Paula says, yes. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, more freebies on Monday. I hope you all enjoy being here. I hope that uh, you're inspired to create, to use some of those supplies you have. Maybe even make an order if you want. Uh, go into witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Sandra. Um, you know, do feel free to ask questions after we get off here. If you want to share this video, it greatly helps me, especially those of you that, you know, you can't help me financially. I really appreciate you being here. It's a big, big, uh, um, oh, it's hard for me to say. I, I, I just love what you do by being here for me because it really helps me all out. Um, so share this video with your friends. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, comment after the video, uh, after it goes up here in just a little bit, anything that you want to share with me, okay? Uh, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube. I'm very close to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm going to have a lot of items that I'm giving away. In fact, I just got a case of uh, Beacon Glue. Um, so I'm going to be able to give some of that away. I've got a Crafter's Companion set that I'm going to give away. I've got a Misty that I'll be giving away. I've got some scrapbook pads. I've got some ink pads. I have a lot of things that I'm going to be giving away. So you want to be subscribed to make sure that you can win some of those great prizes. Okay. I'll even have some uh, coupons to my store as well. All righty. <clears throat> Any questions? Anybody have a question or need anything? Have any? Look at my dirty fingers. Uh. Yay! Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Christy. Uh, what else? Check out my shop quickly if you're wanting the uh, subscription box because I don't have very many left. I'm almost sold out. And when it's sold out, I will take down the um, listing and I'll have just the printed kit up so you can get those items, okay? Yay! I'm so glad, Rhonda. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can use my Amazon link, too, if you ever need anything from Amazon. The links that I have below, if you kind of look at them um, and go to them, like the ones for the craft pick and the wax linen thread, those are on Amazon. And if you're buying something else, it helps me just by shopping. So I appreciate that. Yeah, lots of giveaways. And thank you to my admins that were here as well. They're admins of the Friendly Junk Journal people. And I'm really thankful for them as well as my husband for the support that I get. And y'all just make it a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. See you on Monday. Cutter link. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll check the cutter link. Let me write that down. So I'll have to check. I just realized that my cutter was here. <laughs> um, this is the cutter that I like. Because you can see the numbers. And they don't wipe off. This is the cutter I like. I thought I'd left it at the shop. So I'm going to trade this out. Because I don't like this cutter. You're going to the shop. Thank you, Beverly. You're very welcome, Barbara. Yeah, join the, the Friendly Junk Journal book group as well. Yeah, you couldn't find it there. <laughs> I guess it is. I had it here. I found it. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome. I'm glad I found my, my cutter. <laughs> Good night, Debbie. Thank you. Yeah, I can gel the numbers. <laughs> Get the numbers out. Uh. Thank you, Christy, for saying so. I think it's a great group. We have a lot of fun. We have very simple rules. You can post once a day an item for sale or posting, uh, sharing your YouTube channel, or your blog, or whatever, once a day. Um but if you're just sharing photos of projects, you can share those as many times as you want. You have questions, you can share those as many times as you want as well. All right, y'all. Have a fabulous night. I'm so thankful that Lynn won. Oh, yay. She's going to love this. Love, love, love. Yeah, share in the group if you join. 
Yes, if you choose one of the links, Sandra is asking about it, uh, my Amazon. So down below in the description box, I'll zoom in here. Uh, down below in the description box, I have a few links that take you to Amazon, like for the um, wax linen thread, the craft pick, I think those two, and the uh, crocodile tool, those take you to Amazon. And then while you're there, even if you don't buy the item that you clicked on, if you buy anything else, I get credit for that. It's just a minimal amount, but it's something. So if you're going to shop anyway, use one of my links to go to Amazon first. And it stays in your cookies for a few days. Um, but anytime you do that, it helps. So I appreciate it. I'm well, I saw your comment about the uh, link for the paper cutter, and I need to put the orange mini in the shop. <laughs> if I miss something else, send me a message on Facebook or my website, okay? <clears throat> Alrighty, I'm going to get off here, y'all, once I figure out how to, what button to click on. <laughs> Uh, bye Barbara, bye Christy, bye Angelica, bye Robin, bye Sandra. Y'all have a fabulous night. If I don't say your name, I apologize. I just didn't see it. Christy, say bye to you as well. Bye Jenny. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Regina as well. So all of you, thank you. Lynn, thank you Sandra. Okay, good. All right, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Have fun buying a gel plate. I bought the... Actually, I didn't. I had in my wish list. I also have an Amazon wish list. So anytime y'all want to buy something and send it to me, uh, let me know and I can share my wish list on my uh, web page and my um, Facebook page. But I was on my wish list that I wanted a gel press uh, 8 by 10 and Carrie sent it to me. And I really like it. The next one I want to get my dream one to get is the 12 by 12. I think it'd be fun. Bye bye. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> love you all. Thank you so much with lots of love y'all and my dirty fingers. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Henry, for all you do. I know he's busy, so he doesn't always have time to watch, but he'll kind of, I think while he's working, he's got the video on. All right, I'm going to close this off. Since I can figure out where the button is. <laughs> All righty. In stream. All right, I'm going to say bye. All right. All right, in stream. Bye, everybody.